<laughs> What's up, family? Today we talking about three things I wish I knew before 25. Man, I'm 25 years old in 10 months. My birthday is in December. I'm about to turn 26 and I just feel like it would not be beneficial to y'all if I didn't tell y'all three things that I wish I knew. So the first thing is don't chase women, men, or relationships. Because this is for everybody. This is not just for men. Don't chase men, relationships, or women. Don't chase those things. Focus on yourself. Be purpose-driven. Be goal-driven. And just grind. A lot of us waste our primes worried about a relationship and we can't get ahead. Imagine if you had a, ch a chance to go out of town on a job or a career opportunity to go out of state, to go cross country, and you passed it down all because you didn't want to leave your boyfriend, all because you didn't want to leave your girlfriend, and then a year later, y'all were not together. Just think about that. And then you look back when you turn 25, you'd be like, dang, I wish I would've did that at 19. But you blew that opportunity because of that relationship. I always remember what's for you is gonna be for you. So if you take that job across state, cross country, if that person is meant for you, y'all will make it work, I promise. If it's not meant for you, it won't happen. But you never, ever, ever stop your light to satisfy someone else. You never do that under any circumstance. Don't do that. So I just feel like that's our number one thing that we you know, ruin ourselves on is chasing people. And then we mess up all of our prime years and we really don't figure out these things until we've been screwed over multiple times multiple times the second thing i feel like we should do because honestly this kicked in like three years ago for me like 2021 yeah it kicked in for me then and i've been doing better like way better honestly so way better but it's two ways that I want to describe this. It's not rushing into debt and it's also not wasting as much money on materialistic things. Because even if you can afford it like me, it doesn't make it right. So I want to throw a number out there to y'all. And this is not me over exaggerating. Since 2018, when I was 19 years old, I spent over a hundred thousand on cars. Over a hundred K on cars. I'm not joking. I just calculated that number last week and that's the number. That's a real number when I calculate all the money I spent on cars. Now, I'm not saying I lost a hundred K. That's not what I said. I don't want y'all to think, man, daughter cap. I didn't say I lost a hundred K. I said I spent a hundred K on cars. So just think about that. I had a hundred K. That either I was able to finance something, buy cash, but I had access to that money clearly because I had the vehicle. So I had access to over a hundred thousand. I wasted it on vehicles. Right now, I only got two vehicles. I only got two vehicles. 2018, I had three. I had an Impala, a Honda, and a BMW. I sold the Impala. Sold the Honda, kept the BMW. The next year, 2019, I bought another Honda at the beginning of the year. For my birthday, for my 21st birthday, I bought my Jeep, my Jeep Wrangler, Sahara Mohab. I bought that. Camouflage, the RP the Young Dog. The following year, I sold my BMW, kept my Honda and my Jeep. Maybe a year later, I sold my um, Jeep. I bought a new SS, Silver Surfer. In my head, I'm thinking, man, I don't need two cars, not two two doors at that. Let me sell one. I sold my Honda. Three months later, total my SS. I bought a Tahoe. The next shit came back, bought an old school Camaro. So, I say all that to say, through those times, man, 
it turned out like for four years straight, I'm not joking. For four years straight, I bought a car every single year. I bought a car every single year. And so just think about that and put it into your life. Women, how many purses buy, man? I know a lot of females that buy a lot of bags. Them Teflar bags, them Kirk bags, them Coach bags, them Marc Jacobs bags. You buying the Louis Vuitton bag, you buying the Gucci bags. You buying shoes. How many of us are buying things that we really, really don't need and we spend a lot of money on those things? I had a bad jewelry problem. Like, I, I had a bad jewelry problem. Don't get me wrong, guess what? I still got all this nice look, looking jewelry right now and I can just wear it without buying something new. Yeah, it's all there. Without buying something new. And I just got all this nice looking stuff and I'm really grateful because I was able to buy the things I wanted early and it let me know it didn't mean nothing. And another reason I bought it was kind of because of part one, to attract females. So I can't make this up. Don't get me wrong, some of it I bought because it looked nice and I liked it, but a lot of stuff I bought in life, it was because I thought, man, it could give me this, it could give me that. So don't waste all these, all this money on materialistic things or debt. Don't put yourself in debt to buy a chain. I'm glad I never did that. But don't put yourself in debt to buy a chain, man. These Cubans going for 10 cow, no people that finance it. Don't do that, man. Don't do it. If you can't afford to buy it, don't buy it, man. If you need a car, because you know, we all gotta be in debt. I'm not gonna joke. And not gonna, everybody's not fortunate, so sometimes we gotta finance something. Don't finance something just because you can afford it, though. Finance what you need. So if you can afford a new 2024 Toyota Camry, why not go get the 2017? Why spend 35 on a new one? You can get the 2017 15K. It's still getting you to point A, point B, and that note is going to be way cheaper. That 2017 note going to range 200 300 that 2024 note gonna rain 500 to 600 plus the insurance. And insurance is gonna be through the roof. Just think about that. Just think about that. I know we care about what others think, but we need to stop. Lock in. Lock in. When we grow older, I promise you, none of this stuff is gonna matter. Just stay focused. Stay focused right now. Remember these things. I'm not gonna talk y'all all because I've been on that topic for a while because I, I really like that topic. Not blowing a lot of money on materialistic things and not putting yourself in debt and not blowing your money on cars, which is still a materialist thing. Third and the final thing for this part one of things I knew before 25. And again, this is for the people. I promise you, I did not have this problem because if you know me, you know I didn't do it. But I tell you in another light what my problem was, though. Stop partying so much. What are we celebrating? Why is everyone at a club every weekend seeing the same people with new pair of Jordans, with a new outfit on, celebrating, buying bottles? What are you celebrating? What did you just do differently in those seven days that you spent $400 in the club? Just calculate that for a second, man. If you spend $400 in the club, $300 in the club, $200 in the club for 52 weeks, let's just do $200 to be generous. $200 in the club, which most people spend, and they don't think it's bad, and they do that every week. That's over $10,000 you could have saved. Just that $200. That's over ten k that you could have saved. Just think about that because you don't ever think about it. And that's not including your outfits. That's not including the $200 shoes you buy. Some of y'all, we went to designer to the club, so that's not including your designer. But just off your expenses at the club, you could have saved over $10,000. We got to cut that down, man. We really do. Me personally, I don't club because I don't like the... I just don't like the aspect of free. I go out every now and then if it's to celebrate something like I said it got to be a reason though. I just won't be bored and say let me go to a club I promise you that's not my scene I'll go to a restaurant sit at a bar go to a sports bar or something but I go to a Hawks game NFL game baseball game that's my lane go to a nice high-end upscale restaurant might go to a museum but again I'm not shitting on nobody like that's y'all lane 
and that's okay. Everybody has a lane. So I do have one bar that no one knows about. It's real, real nice, real, real laid back. That I go to, but it's still not a club. So I, I just don't like the club scene, me personally. That bar closes at like 12. It's not open to two. Bye. Like clubs close at two. I'm already at home. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love my life, man. I'm not gonna lie. And I said I'm scared, but hey, y'all just too reckless for me. I don't wanna even be put with that chance to fail. So just remember that, man. Don't party so much. Stay focused. Don't party as much. Like, stack that bread up. Don't chase the men, women, and relationships. If you got the opportunity to grow and go, go. And last, don't rush into debt, man. Love y'all, daughter family. I'm out. See y'all next time, baby.